Hey, Elliot here. Uh, just a quick intro before we get into this. One of my goals this year was to complete and upload five speed draws to YouTube, and I have done three, which is really more than anyone expected. Um, but unfortunately, in the past few months, I started working on some projects that either still aren't done or stuff that can't really be recorded. Um, so I decided to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and uh, complete all of the Drawfee speed draw challenges. I'm a huge fan of the Drawfee channel. Uh, watching those guys work uh, has inspired me a lot and taught me so much. Um, and TBH, uh, what really got me out of bed and into my desk chair was the most recent one because it's Kaiba and it slapped so hard and I have to draw Kaiba, but we have to walk before we can run into Seto Kaiba's arms. So here is the first speed draw challenge, which was to draw Link from Legend of Zelda. So Link, um, I realized I had never actually drawn Link before, so I was a little unsure as to what style I wanted to go with. I honestly just googled style challenge, um, and you can you can see the that kunai knife. Um, I went with Naruto. Uh, it just it seemed like a good first bout uh, into this <laughs> kind of thing, um, just laying it all out on the table weep status. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna say just right off the bat that the end result is fine. Uh, I really only think I nailed the style in the face. Um, the rest of it just sort of was me drawing a body in a weird pose. So I probably could have just like had this, that zoom in just a second ago. I probably could have just drawn that and that would have been fine. Uh, but alas, we live and we learn. I went with uh, Breath of the Wild Link because um, honestly I thought his outfit would be the most interesting for a um, kind of ninja version of uh, his clothes for the Naruto style. Um, but of course I didn't actually like do any um, sketches prior to the pose sketch, so uh, I end up changing uh, the outfit in the line art, which is always a good time good thing to do. Um, don't ever plan out what you're doing before you do it. <laughs> um, also, yeah, don't, don't figure out anatomy until you're doing the line art. It's my artist tip. And here we see uh, me changing the outfit mid line art. Uh, I decided it wasn't sexy enough, so I gave him that little Shikamaru crop jacket and the fucking fishnet top. <sighs> I love Naruto so much. Uh, but you'll see I didn't actually fix um, the... Uh, built, so I do have to go back and fix that later while I'm coloring it. I'm struggling to talk about stuff during the line art, um, and this was the part I sped up the most, um, because I li line art is the most boring part of making stuff for me personally, and so I'm like, Oh my god, can we just like get through it already? Like, I can't imagine someone being interested in watching me do line art, I guess. So I'm struggling having interest in watching me do line art. Um, I put the little sword on his uh, crop jacket uh, 
like they do kind of in the for certain uh ninja clans um god doing these little uh those little designs was so hard i actually have done those before um even though i said i never i've never drawn link that is true but i cosplayed as link for a friend's bachelorette party and i made a shirt with those little things on the sleeve and oh my god taping them out and measuring all of them was so hard and i didn't even do it right in the end like they they like collide at one point on the sleeve and it just really looks bad <laughs> anyway we have now reached the coloring phase and the way i did this was i just put a middle gray inside of the line art and then flood filled the colors uh, on that same layer uh, and I struggled with the color scheme a little bit because I mostly eyeballed it. Um, so I think I have to change Link's skin and the pants and the arm things like a couple of times. And here is where I decided that there needed to be a background. Um, I mean, I knew I was going to put the um, clouds in um, as if he had just, uh, like, done a summoning or transportation jutsu, because I know Naruto stuff for sure. I did actually read all the manga, I just am stupid. Um, and honestly, I think the clouds turned out pretty good. I was looking at a reference, um, off screen and yeah, it's one of those things where it's like the shapes are really blobby, but in very specific ways. And I don't think I nailed it a hundred percent, but I think it's pretty good. It's okay. Uh, the rest of the background, unfortunately, I don't think turned out super great, and I kind of regret putting it in there. Um, uh, like, I was looking at a reference of the Forest of Death off screen, um, but like, I don't know, my heart wasn't in it, and so I didn't like put as much effort into it into matching the style as I did with the figure. So I don't think that it turned out super great. Um, I sort of mitigate that in the end by making Link bigger so that the figure is more of a focus. Um, but yeah, I, I wish I had nods on this background. And now here's me messing with layer styles and um, color balance and just trying to make this look like anything. <laughs> um, and then I went a little overboard with shading. Um, probably didn't need to do as much as I did, but um, I do think it turned out pretty good in the end. One thing I did try to do with this that I think I succeeded on pretty well, better than usual, is I get really lost in like the nitty gritty, like in like getting way zoomed in. I get really bogged down with that. So I tried to work more in bigger shapes um, and kind of just filling in and not worrying so much about like a couple of pixels being white still um, and like not letting that ruin it for me. <laughs> And that's our boy, Link Legend of Zelda. 
I was extremely nervous recording my voice for this. Please be nice to me. Um, I'm working on the next two challenges and we're going in order. So next week is drawing a character from Game of Thrones in another style, which is one of the ones I'm super jazzed about. So I will see you next week. Let's say Thursday. Bye.